Welcome to Coloma Junior High. My name is Wendy Trombley, and I'm the building principal for the junior high with grades six through eight. I'd like to give a special welcome to our incoming sixth graders. We were so disappointed this past spring that we weren't able to hold our typical orientation that usually occurs over three or four days. So tonight, this is my attempt to consolidate some of that information into a brief overview, along with some of the changes for the upcoming school year. Don't worry, any details that I leave out, the teachers will be happy to cover with you in class. So let me walk you through what a typical day here at the junior high will look like for you this year. When you arrive, you're going to walk through the gym entrance and proceed up the ramp into the junior high, into the sixth grade hallway. Staff are going to be there to help you on that first week to make sure you're headed the right way. And once we get you into the building, You'll just follow instructions. We'll make sure to get you a copy, a paper copy of your schedule, along with your locker assignment and your locker combinations. Teachers will provide you an opportunity to practice those locker combinations. And they'll also make sure you understand the layout of the building. The nice thing about this year is the majority of your classes are going to be right within your sixth grade hallway. You won't be wandering very far beyond that. So on a typical day, when you enter the building, you're going to head to your locker and drop off anything that you don't need for class right away. So sometimes it's going to be those bulky items like a winter coat, um, maybe clothes for after school athletics, things of that nature. Once you do that, then you're going to head directly to your first hour class. Now here's our regular day bell schedule. As you can see, we have six classes per day. And this year, with the exception of band, PE, or choir, your, all your classes will be in that sixth grade hallway. And each class is just shy of an hour long. Um, passing time between the classes will look a little bit different this year because we're gonna ask that you move directly to your next class. And any um, trips to the restroom or the office, we will allow you to do that during instructional time. and. It's basically just to avoid that crowding in the hallway. Attendance is critical to academic success. And being here every day in front of your teachers is really important so that you understand what's happening in your classes and receive that extra help that you need. But this year, more than ever, we also need to be healthy and safe. So with that, we ask that parents or guardians are checking those symptoms every morning before you bring your child or send your child to school. So those symptoms that we're looking for is a temperature of 100.4 or greater, a sore throat, um, a cough, any of those GI symptoms that are new, and also the onset of a severe headache. Any of those symptoms would be a reason that you would need to keep your child home. Now, if someone were to come to school and display those symptoms, we would have that child wait in a separate room until someone can come and pick them up. And it's really just about health and safety for all of our students and staff this year. And because of the concern regarding health and safety, we have waived some of our typical attendance policies. So we want you to, um, to make sure you're keeping your child home and not feel the pressure to get them here. But we also know that it's important that they're, they're here with us as often as they can be. Breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch has not changed dramatically from last year. It's still free for all of our Coloma students. So breakfast here at the junior high, we provide that in the classroom at the start of second hour. And lunch will be provided in the cafeteria, but we will go in by grade level. So we've tried really hard to cohort by grade level in this building. So we have reduced the amount of students that will be in the cafeteria at any given time. We will have social distancing in the cafeteria. Students will not have to wear a mask while they're eating. Um, and then our cafeteria has also changed how they're serving foods in that um, it will all be packaged grab and go style. And you'll also see that our cafeteria has had some remodeling over the summer. Um, and all of these are in an effort just to keep everyone as safe as we can be. We will also assign seats in the cafeteria and we'll let you sit with friends within reason, but we'll assign those seats that you're so that you're sitting with the same group of people 
each day in there. So the expectations of the junior high are pretty simple. We want you to come ready to learn, be respectful, and be safe. And as long as you're doing those three things, you're not going to have any issues here at the, at the junior high. So we also have RTI at this building, much like you did at the intermediate building. And RTI happens, as you saw earlier, in the bell schedule after third hour daily. That's with the exception of delayed starts and half days. But RTI for us is a chance where you can get that extra help. Uh, maybe you're not understanding a particular concept. This would be a time that you could work in a smaller group with your teacher to get some of those questions answered. Now, for this year, we will have a schedule of where students will be reporting for RTI, and they'll be returning to a particular class period. So on day one, you would return to your first hour class. On day two, you would return to your second hour class, and so on and so forth. So that will be our schedule this year. And again, it's just about keeping our cohorts as tight as possible for that safety of everyone involved. So after school, after school, it's really important that everyone has transportation following the dismissal at three o'clock. We will stagger our dismissal just a bit and that we will dismiss sixth grade hallway a few minutes earlier so that they can exit the building through the same entrances they came in in the morning. Um, and we will also have the older grades going out through their entrances. It's important to note that we will not be holding our study hall. It used to be occur after school from three until four each day. That will not be happening this year. So everyone will need to have transportation and we will not be allowed to have students waiting in the building past three o'clock. In fact, all staff must be out of the building um, shortly thereafter. So it's really important that that transportation piece is worked out. Here at the junior high, every child is issued a Chromebook. Those will be issued on their first day of school. It's your responsibility, students, to make sure you're bringing it charged to school every day. It's just like bringing your pencil this is our educational tool that you will be using in every class every day. Um, so make sure you take good care of your device. It's going to be your device for at least three years. Parents, insurance is available for $20 and um, that will be due on September 11th. Um, and in terms of insurance, if you choose not to, you could have some unexpected charges. So here's just some typical charges that we often see at this level. Um, the broken screen is typically 35. If a lid is broken, it's 30. Uh, broken hinge is eight. Um, a broken palm rest or track pad, those are 47. So for $20, um, even the smallest damage can be covered with that. So we highly encourage um, the, the Chromebook insurance, because sometimes it's just something as simple as leaving a pencil in the Chromebook and shutting the lid, and now we have a broken screen and sometimes a, a broken hinge as well. So we highly recommend that. That is due September 11th, and you can send that money into the main office with your child. So what needs to be done before school starts? There's been lots of anxiety this summer. Here are a couple things that we need you to check on. Make sure you're up to date on immunizations, pick up any supplies that you might need, and schedules will be released to the parent portal on August 25th. So what kind of supplies do you need for the junior high? Grades six through eight, we have some requested supplies. One is that we're trying really hard not to share supplies among students. So we're asking that you have your own pencil case or you can carry your own colored pencils, markers, highlighter, and pens and pencils that you choose to use. Keep those in a pouch in your backpack that you can carry to class. Glue sticks are helpful for some of those projects in science. It'll also be important to have a pair of headphones or earbuds that you can plug into your Chromebook. Um, there will be lots of times that you'll be watching videos and things that those will be needed. We also encourage a notebook for each of your classes and a folder for each of your classes. In the past, a lot of kids have carried those large binders or trapper keepers, we used to call them, and they would organize their folders and notebooks in that way. You're still welcome to carry those, 
Um, but with being able to carry backpacks to class, it might be easier to have something a little bit smaller. So whatever organization works best for you or your child. Um, also mask, the district will be providing a couple masks, but it might be helpful to have additional ones so that you can wash them and make sure that they have a fresh mask every day. Hand sanitizer, we will have several bottles throughout the building. Sometimes it's nice to have that in the backpack and accessible. We also recommend um, a reusable water bottle. Um, we're going to encourage students to use the bottle fillers on our drinking fountains as opposed to drinking directly from the drinking fountains. And they have that water bottle, they can refill it throughout the day. So those are our suggested supplies. We tried to keep it as simple as possible. The schedules will be available on that first day of school. We, were, we will provide you a paper copy once you get here and you're in the building and settled. We will also be turning on the student and parent portal on August 25th, and you can view them online that way. If you need help with setting up your power school information, you can email the help desk and they will assist you with that. So parents, I would say the most important parenting tool in the junior high is going to be having that power school parent portal. You can log on that on a laptop or a desktop, or you can simply download the app to your phone. Um, this allows you to see live grades. You will see all of your child's report cards through there, and you can, you can see if there's missing assignments and communicate with teachers all through that portal. So that would be my number one advice to parents is make sure you have that live on your phone so that you can address any needs that way. So some of the important dates to understand for return to school is we have that staggered start where we only have one grade level attending each day so that we can bring in our students and be very intentional on teaching them all of the new procedures as they come into the building. So as sixth graders, you will attend on September 2nd. That is a full day. When you come in, you're gonna come in through that gym entrance. We will make sure that we get you to your first hour class and we will walk you through each hour make sure you understand the layout of the building you understand how to get to lunch how to pass in the hallways and all of those important things we'll also issue you your chromebook and each of your teachers will show you how to get into google classroom and start to navigate some of that so then on thursday september 3rd you will have what we're calling a remote day and this will be a day to practice we all understand that there's a possibility at some point in the school year, we may have to go to remote and we wanna make sure that you have the skill set in order to do that. So on that Thursday, September 3rd will be a remote day. And all we're asking is that you sign into each of your six classes. Teachers will have a very small task for you just to make sure you're able to, to sign in and communicate with them. And once that's complete, that's all, you, all your requirements for the remote, remote day. So we are, very excited to bring you to the building. I know that this is a lot of information and anything that we can do to help you get acclimated to the building, we will do. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, our staff is chomping at the bit to, to bring our students back. So thank you. See you soon.